It's Midday to Sue Solo. We're on Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 1079. And we are talking to, I mean, I feel that this woman is a household name. Miss Pat. The Miss Pat show is making its, I'm sorry, the Emmy nominated Miss Pat show is making its way back to our TV screens finally for season four. Season four, May the 23rd. I'm calling that break the app day. Everybody turn it on. I don't care if you ain't even watching. Make your kids turn it on. Turn the volume down because we do be cussing. But I'm calling it break the app day for season four. And the app that you are referring to is BET Plus. I am BET mm -hmm. Plus. Baby. Go on there and watch it because it is funny. Season four is so crazy. I don't know if y'all got any clips or got a chance to watch it, but we have white slaves this year. That was the hardest episode to cast. <laughs> <laughs> so the only thing that I heard is that everybody has secrets this time around. Like the entire family has secrets. The the, the Carson crew, what are y'all up to? What can we get a secret besides the, the white slaves? Because that just, uh, that just we threw me all, off. You know, we all, every, every character have their moment this year. So we just gave them the whole episode and we created a whole moment. You know, my son, Brandon, his moment is about his, um, he's, he want to save his father. Um, uh, Tammy Roman has her moment. Everybody has their moment. And it's, 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 it's just so good. I, I think this is our best season so far. That's a good point to make because I do feel like when you're watching series, they kind of focus on one or two particular people, but you're saying everybody got something going on. Well, and I do like that with the comedy too. You know, a lot of times you can see a comedy and only the lead get all the jokes. No, everybody's funny in my show. If you can carry a joke, you get a joke. So we, I pass the funny around through the whole cast. So how do you get to be Emmy no nominated? What is it about the Miss Pat show that is so relatable to so many people to the fact that you would be Emmy nominated? Not once, but twice. <laughs> Come on now, get the people together. Um, I think it's because it's so relatable. It's so real. And finally, they gave a, a mom like me a voice. You know, mamas are always on TV, you know, so prissy and, you know, they're perfect. We're not perfect. Mama's been to jail. We shot a few people. We stabbed a few people. We made a few mistakes. But mm -hmm. TV portrays mothers just as perfect. And the daddy can be the demon, but not the mama. And this time it was it's based off of my life. My husband ain't never been to jail. But ask me how many times I'm a convicted felon. Quite a few. How many? Uh, probably about 15, 20 times. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> I've been, I took a few trips to jail. And you no, know, it's, it's a show where the mom is not holding up the black man. The black man is holding up the mama. Oh, that's such a good point because you know th there are all these podcasts in different areas that are talking about how you know women are leading, black women in particular, they are leading the world of entrepreneurship, and we're always having to carry the household. You're saying that ain't necessarily what's going on over here. My man got me over here. I might be a little thrown off, but my man got me. My husband always took care of me. He's retired now, but I, I even had to beg him to retire. So I, I don't know. These Let me tell you something. The younger generation is, they, they, they brains are cloudy. They, you know, they, they don't, you know, if, if a man, if a man passed gas, I don't want you no more. I didn't know you smell like that. Well, he don't eat steak every day, ma'am. I mean, you talking about steak, it, it, and we when, when I cut the cameras on, you, you was fixing your lip gloss because you said that you had just had some cheesecake. So I, I had to ask you the question: Is cheesecake factory appropriate for a first date or not? It is appropriate for a first date. You take me anywhere, you pay. I don't care. I love Waffle House. We can go to Waffle House. Just let me bring my own cream for the coffee. I don't have a problem. I and don't know where these women get off. Of, oh my God, that is beneath me. Well, how much money you got in your pocketbook? Mm -hmm. What kind of car you drive? If you had so much, why are you out with me? You lonely half Miss Pat, how do the Carsons end up in the suburb suburbs of Indiana? Uh, in real life, my husband moved. We moved from Atlanta. He worked at Doraville, and we moved to Plainfield, Indiana. That's why that show is based out of Plainfield, Indiana. And I moved in a very conservative little white neighborhood. And it was a culture shock for me. They had corn so high, taller than people. And I literally thought it was grass. And I was so depressed there. And I just started paying attention to my, my community. And I started writing jokes, just how white it was. Because I'm a inner city black kid from the West End. I had never lived around white people like that. Yeah. And you know, they, you know they're taking over West End right now. 
Well, let me tell you something. I'm all for gentrification. <laughs> so, you know, as a homeowner, you be raising here. Oh, don't move in my neighborhood. Come on, white and gay people, if y'all gonna fix up the community. I mean, as a homeowner, I don't want to, I don't want to fix up my house and it's a shack next door. If we yeah. all can't fix up our house together, then sell it so somebody else can. Because mm -hmm. I want my house to go up in value too. And black people don't go in my box talking about gentrification because I don't want to hear that. So you telling me you had a hard time casting for Caucasian slaves? Uh, what do you think? I mean, I can only imagine, girl. They was like, "Well, how do I do this?" You tell me, how do I do it? Those white people sung them Negro hymns better than black people did. This guy, you lying. You did not have them sing. You lying. Swing low, sweet Sharon. <laughs> So it sounds like we got a whole lot to look forward to as it pertains to season four of the Miss Pat show on BET Plus. Can you tell us like how great it is working with this platform? Oh, I'm, you know what? I, I tell people all the time, my show got passed around Hollywood like a hooker and BET Plus put a ring on it. So oh. this is where I'm going to be till we get a divorce. I like that. And, and hopefully that never happens. We look forward to season six, eight, 12, however far it is, how, how much further you want to go. We're here to support it. You are just genuinely funny. You feel so relatable. Like you feel like everybody's auntie, like, you know, everybody's favorite cousin. Like we just know that when Miss Pat come around, we're going to have a good time. And let me, while we talking about shows, let, let's not forget I have a court show called Miss Pat Settles It. We just wrapped season two of that. May 23rd is season four of the Miss Pat show drop. But hey, later this year, we'll be dropping season two of Miss Pat Settles It. So y'all stay tuned. I got some other things cooking too. Miss Pat is working, honey. Can you please tell the people where we can find you on social media? Please go to misspatcomedy.com and that's mspatcomedy.com and get and you know I'm on tour. Your girl done made it tour. You can get your tickets there also. I'm coming to Atlanta March of 2025. I'm open. Uh, I'm on Martin Lawrence tour. Girl, stop. Girl, I'm always working. <laughs> I love, love, and when you come down, we got to make sure we get you some Waffle House. You got to come through the studio and we got to make sure we have a nice little Waffle House spread for you. Okay. What well, I would be more than happy to eat it, which I would. Hey, I live in Atlanta. Don't make me come down out of Mar with no wig on. <laughs> That's easy. Come on, girl. We ready. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much, Miss Pat. ATL, please make sure that you are ready for this. It's on May 23rd. Thursday. And, uh, th this Thursday. This week. This don't Thursday, don't get it twisted. I cannot wait. I'm going to make sure I have me a little cheesecake ready for the, the season premiere because I, I got to get me some cheesecake too. It looked real good. Well, thank you. And make sure y'all watch it because it is so funny. So funny. We're looking forward to it. Thank you, Miss Pat. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, sweetheart.